Hello friends, with the release of AI art and especially ControlNet, there has been a lot of cool new art out there. So I figured we're going to take a quick look at some famous scenes remade by AI. And not just by AI, by you guys. Most of these are made by people in my Discord, in my little community. So let's see if AI can compete with the real deal. So first up, we got this image and uh, I know what it is because I can see the Weyland Yutani logos on, on the exoskeleton. So this is, uh, th this is something out of Alien. I think I recognize the scene. It's where um, Ripley, I think it's, is this the first movie or the second one where she's going to fight the alien inside, you know, this big exoskeleton. Quite a cool scene, actually. And this is a very cool image. I like it a lot and it's really, it really conveys that feeling of, of the, the original. Maybe not the fear in Ripley's eyes or the face, but just, you know, the exoskeleton and all of it. Very cool. I love it. Hey, by the way, did you hear about the restaurant in space? Great food. No atmosphere. Oh yeah, this is this um, famous painting I, I never remember. Whenever I see this, I'm like, okay, I recognize this. You know, everyone probably does. American Gothic something, something. But I can never remember who did it. Even though I Google it whenever I see it, just to, okay, I'm going to remember this time. I never do. Either way, that's a cool reinterpretation of it. Going a little futuristic, but still keeping that um, old style vibe. Nice, I like it. So next up we have this astronaut woman. If we didn't have these side by side, I wouldn't have known what this was. But looking at the original, you can clearly see, and the position is great. I love this. So the hand on the cane, man, that's this is great. And you can even see the little the wrinkles on her hand. It's kind of cool that the original pose of Churchill has, you know, his left arm out, and in the same sense, you know, you could fit her space helmet in there. It's, it's really cool. That's nice. I like this. Now this one's a classic creation of Adam, eh? Well, this is a very modern interpretation of it, especially with the AI sense of it. It's almost like the left side, you know, with the woman is the last piece of humanity. And the, the right side was is, used to be, I think the right side has God, right? Let me check the original. Yeah, the right side has God, the left side has humanity. And here's like the right side is the AI, the robot taking over more and more of humanity. And the left side is like, there's some humanity left, but it's uh, not much. Fantastic. Now I say that about everything now, don't I? <laughs> this is funny. Okay. Right. Okay. So we have Darth Vader and Elon Musk here. Yeah. With what's been happening lately. That's a kind of, that's kind of a fitting picture, isn't it? I don't think I know the original for this one though. I think we're gonna have to pull that one up. Okay. Yeah, so we have Elvis there. So that's like a different kind of vibe. This is still a cool recreation of the image. Evil Musk and Evil Vader. Who's more evil, Darth Vader or Elon Musk? Put it in the comments below. Let's get on with the next one. All right, I think everyone recognized this because you're all big brain people. So this is a Johnny Depp and um, the original should be the pearl earring. It kind of kind of fits his style, you know, the the pirate theme. The, it's not a pearl earring anymore, but the, you know, the earring kind of fits. He has these braids in the hair. That's cool. I like it. I like everything. Hey, while we're at it, also put your favorite image in uh, the comments below. Okay, let's see what's up next. All right, a box of chocolates. Hey, I haven't seen that movie in a, in a while. I like that movie. It's a, it's a nice... Uh, feel good movie. Well, it's not all feel good, but you know, you know what I mean. But uh, I've seen, I remember this because I think this one, it actually won one of our weekly AI art challenges. That was, uh, that was a control net challenge. So this is some sort of a woman here. And is that Cthulhu in the back? Could be. And the little octopus Cthulhu, mini Cthulhu here in the front. That's very cool. I wonder if the small one here was in painted. Must have been, right? What do you think? I think so. <laughs> yeah, I saw this one on, on Reddit. This is uh, this is hilarious, actually. 
So we have the, the scene from Basic Instinct where she crosses her legs and uh, now Kermit's in the same scene. And that's, that's hilarious. Now what's this? Anyone want to take a guess? They're sitting by a table, everyone waving their hands around. They're looking towards sort of the middle, but not all of them. Let's, uh, let's look at the original. All right, okay. That's the Last Supper. Very nice. You can see all the faces are... Well, they seem to be pretty perfect. The hands are... I haven't looked in detail, but the hands are pretty good, most of them. So this is a quality picture. Very nice. I think this is uh, Maui's work. He sent in this one. He's one of my main, main guys helping around. Good guy. Good guy. Very good job. Mmm. Nice. Okay. So we have Mona Lisa Beyonce. I'm just I'm looking at hands here. They're great. I'm trying to find a flaw here somewhere by just quickly looking at it, but uh, it looks pretty good. Let me pull up the original. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. All right, okay, Einstein, straight away. So this is uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. And uh, is he a modern day Einstein? Well, at least in popular culture is. I am not uh, versed enough in uh, big brain people to know how he rates among them. But uh, in regard to the general population, he's Mr. Big Brain. All right, so we have... Uh, this is Pedro Pascal and Nick Offerman, looks like. I don't recognize the photo though, or the painting, or whatever. Where's this from? Let me check. Oh, okay. All right. So this is Sean Connery and Michael Caine. I don't remember seeing that particular photo, but uh, yeah, that's a cool recreation. Oh, I wouldn't have gotten this if I uh, didn't have the original right here next to me. So it says the original here is the School of Athens. I mean, I've seen it before. I wouldn't be able to call it out. It's kind of a cool recreation. You have a lot of characters here. And they have all been made with... Well, it's a control net and then they've been in-painted uh, separately. Nice. Cool. Let me see. What do we have more? Do we have anything left? All right. Cool. Do you know what this one is? Take a guess. I'll bring up the other picture in a second. Here it is. That's the scream from... Um, was a Danish painter, I think? I don't remember his name. We can probably find that out. All right, here it is. The Scream is a composition created by Norwegian artist Edvard Munch. Someone says here, The Scream is an icon of modern art, the Mona Lisa for our time. Well, that's very fitting. I think you recognize this one, yeah? And if you don't, look at all the swirling stars here in the night. Because it's called Starry Night. And here's uh, the original. A lot of these interpretations went from old style pictures to futuristic uh, sci-fi stuff. And that's, uh, I don't mind it. It's very nice. I wonder when I'm going to say that uh, an image is bad. I wouldn't, would I? I try to be nice. Now this, what could this be from? I have no idea. It's a very good image. Healy sent me this. Healy is the mastermind of most of the styles that I've been using. And a lot of people in community are using. And it's a nice image. It's a good face here, and the, this character has, has some blur here. The depth of focus uh, is very nice, very cool. I love how just how in general clothes are, like the folds on the fabric. They just it gets them so great. It's amazing. Let's quickly, let's, uh, where's the original? Oh, Star Wars. I would have never guessed that. Very cool, though. Is that the scene before they, um, before they fight? I have the high ground, Anakin. I don't remember exactly. Very cool nonetheless. Good job, Healy. Oh, moving on from Star Wars to Star Wars. So this looks like a stormtrooper, but we still have some hair here. Oh, okay, so this is the original. I've seen this before. When I see them side by side, it's so obvious. But I, when I saw the first one, it, it wasn't. I couldn't, uh, for the life of me, figure it out. It was very cool. I like how the hair was kept intact. I mean, obviously you couldn't get the hair out of the helmet like that, but uh, kind of adds to the image. It's, it's cool. We have two people with a car. Is that a DeLorean? If I get this right, you're going to say this is scripted. Let's check out. 
it is a DeLorean. Okay. So they have the, based on the clothing, there's some kind of, um, they're back in the olden days and they're seeing the future. I like this. Very nice. Good job. I can't, I'm um, sorry for not remembering everyone who sent them in. I know there are people in the community. I should have saved the name somewhere. I enjoyed this very much. It was very cool. And these uh, famous scenes or paintings were amazing, most of them. What do you think? Were they improvements or uh, were the originals better? Let me know in the comments below. I uh, read every comment. I don't have time to answer all of them. I try to whenever I have time. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, like and subscribe. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I'm not your boss. Have a good one. See ya.